Everton's European hopes. Doing like, literally like on a string and it's just like burning aside or just But what a crack, Dwight McNeil. I have to say this was the most entertaining match from all the games this weekend. I, I thoroughly and enjoyed it. And he won the North London derby. Yeah, I know. This is, goes even beyond the North London, which we will come to that. But Dwight McNeil, probably goal of the Quality season. Quality goals, but even Quality Wood. goals. Even Chris Wood's goal as well. Taking nothing away also from the consolation for Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Who missed a plethora of chances, I felt, while watching the game, like... FPL, no, you had him? No, I didn't have, but I know a lot of friends who had him who were really, no, really they've disappointed. removed him. No, no, everybody has Rishalasin, don't lie. But, <laughs> yeah, but, no, for Burnley, with such a small squad, yeah. to get these important three points, you know, to keep them in the run for safety, yeah. and taking Everton's European hopes with them, yeah. while Everton still have games in hand over Liverpool, but... It, their form looks poor. Very, it's very dodgy. And I, I, uh, we've talked about this before. And I feel that I've tipped Ancelotti to take Everton to Europe. But I think they're just dwindling. Now they're just being mediocre. Now they're just taking things for granted. And they're just saying, oh yeah, it's Burnley. And Burnley, giving full credit to them. Everyone's so used to them playing their long ball tactics. You know, the, the dice but football it, it, and stuff. it works. Yeah, but if you notice even, besides Chris Wood's goal. But if you notice the build up to McNeil's goal. It was just a moment of magic. Like, like McNeil just saw an opening. He's like, you know what? I'll pop it. There was a, there it's was a, very a similar attempt from Goodmanson where he hit the post. Yeah. Goodmanson also had a really good chance. You don't see that coming from Burnley. Like, Burnley's just normally like... Goodmanson coming long in the ball. Center. It's always crossing into Wood or yeah. Rodriguez or Barnes or whoever. So, it's, I think Burnley's kind of figured out that they can play in another dimension. But it's just that they're so used to Sean Dyche playing that long ball football that... They, I think Dwight Bingley just said, no, you know what, I'm going to try something different. You know, I'm fed up of playing the same style all the time. I'm just going to take a pop and I think he probably should be a contender for goal this I season. think they need more out of Vidra. Of course, but he because, worked his ass off though yeah, in that game. I think he did a really good job. Like he was haggling the defenders. He wears number 27 and when he scored, it took him 27 games too. <laughs> but after that, Maybe that's he's symbolic. Had, so. But he has, he's had so many chances, he should have buried the game. Well, they do have other avenues of attack. I mean, Chris Wood is there and you also have... Uh, what's Barnes, it? Rodriguez, Barnes yes. Is yet to come in. Barnes and all are injured. What then? Well, Your squad is anyway small. Yeah, the squad I just feel small. you either get someone better than him mm. or you get a little more from him. Yeah. But take nothing away from them. Oh, three yeah. points. Big three points for Burnley. And as I said, this was the most entertaining game I saw this week. And I think rest in peace, Everton for Europe. No, I'll light a candle. There's, there's still, a, there's still a, an opportunity, a small chance, but if Everton can make it, they can make it. If not, they'll have to just be perennial chokers as usual.